Welcome to the channel, everybody. If you're not familiar with what's going on, we're trying to make a 1,000-plus horsepower fuel system. Uh, we recently put Bosch 210s in the car, and in this video, we're putting a secondary fuel pump to kick on under boost. We ran out of fuel at Cordova in this pass, and uh, hopefully this will get us there. All right, so a quick rundown of all that we bought here. Um, this is the AEM 400 liter an hour pump. Um, just so you know, when you buy it, it's got some electrical connectors, but uh, this pump has a dash 10 inlet. It comes with a dash six to dash eight outlet. Um, I will be doing dash 10 all the way through, so I have a six to 10 fitting here. Um, I actually bought a Summit Racing uh, fuel filter. Um, gonna be giving that for a shot all my other stuff's name brand but feeling a little cheap today so we'll we'll give that a ride um, I have a check valve so if you're running uh, staggered fuel pumps uh, you want to have a check valve on the pump that's not going to be running uh, full-time obviously you don't want it back feeding into the uh, fuel system or I guess back to the fuel tank um, I got a bunch of fittings here from Monkey Fab. I don't quite know yet what I'm going to need. Um, have some dash 10 hose, but uh, basically we're going to use my existing post filter for both fuel pumps, and then each pump is going to have uh, its own pre-filter. Right, so after a brief update, we'd order some more fittings, so I think we're good now, so let's see how it goes. All right, so we got everything installed here. Um, new feed line from the uh, tank there dash 10 to our pre-filter then we got our AEM fuel pump we got a Y fitting here that's got the uh, two pumps merged and then if you look over here here's our existing magna fuel pump and now we have a check valve uh, hooked up to that so basically the AEM pump will be on under vacuum and then the magna fuel will kick on under boost so let's uh, do the update on the Holly software and then uh, check if this thing works all right, so now that we have all the physical connections done, uh, we'll do the software side of things. Um, I'll pretense this with, I did move my existing fuel pump signal wire to the AEM, and then I need to add an additional output for the uh, Magna fuel pump. So let's uh, start by downloading from the ECU here. So this is gonna be a little different than your normal IOs. Um, you're actually gonna go to your ECU and then under basic IO. Under fuel pumps, we're gonna click secondary. This will enable the output. So before you actually assign your pin, you need to figure out, or I guess plan, uh, if you're gonna have a ground output or a uh, 12 volt. So since I did additional wiring uh, to the second pump and wanted to leave my original stuff, um, I'm actually gonna switch from a 12 or a ground to a 12 volt output. So you go to your IO tab and then under secondary fuel pump, switch it to 12 volt. Obviously, if you want to do a ground trigger, you can do that as well. So from there, uh, you go to your pin map on the top and then in your outputs, you go and you're going to see secondary fuel pump is now there. It's listed as an H because I wanted a 12 volt output. So we're going to drag that down to the first one that we got. So that's gonna be pin B24 on our J2 connector. So we're gonna get that wired in real quick. All right, so I got my connector here. Uh, if you're not too familiar with the Holly plugs, it's pretty easy to add and remove circuits. If you look on the back, um, there's gonna be numbers, basically one through 25. Um, to insert a pin is pretty easy. Basically, you're gonna push this pin in, you'll hear it click, You'll see the two locking tabs are sticking up now. So now you could freely insert and remove uh, pins as you need. So this is my wire for the second fuel pump that I uh, crimped. We need to go into B24. So we can see that the last pin here is 26, 25, 24. So basically you'll just push it in all the way look on the front make sure it's all the way through and then when you're done you're gonna take your screwdriver or pick tool or whatever and push the white tab down if this doesn't go down nicely uh, something's not inserted how it should be but that's how easy it is to add uh, an input output wire here all right so now that we're back on the PC uh, we just inserted that wire obviously to B24 output so we can click, click close here 
if you go back to your basic I.O. tab and your fuel pump, this is where you can figure out what settings you want. Just for testing, I'm going to leave uh, TPS. We're going to put it to, say, maybe 10%. Engine RPM, we're going to leave it 0 and then manifold pressure will do, yeah, negative 14. Uh, this will be good for testing. We could do this with key on engine off. Uh, with the Holly output, uh, you could actually test it that way too, so we'll go through both. So we're gonna hit USB link. You're gonna see that the system is not uh, synced, so we're gonna hit send to ECU. So we gotta do our ignition cycle, so yep. So if you got the latest build, um, you have this output test function. Uh, so if you open it up, it's going to initialize the screen here. Um, this allows you to test your um, IOs. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, enable the second fuel pump to be on. So when I click this box, it should hopefully turn the fuel pump on. Hopefully you could hear it from here. So you could hear it running. So we could verify it that way. Um, that's through the software. We're gonna close out of here. Hit okay. So the other way is gonna be by pressing the gas pedal. So the engine primed. Um, so obviously the uh, AEM pump, the primary is off, but I'm gonna hit the gas pedal here and above 10% uh, TPS, you should see fuel pressure rise. So there you go. So the secondary fuel pump is kicked on. I took my foot off the gas and you'll see it'll shut off in a second here. So two separate ways to verify it working, but everything seems to be uh, working as it should. So hopefully this helps us with fuel and hopefully it helps you if you're trying to wire one in. So now our fuel system's got dual fuel pumps, dash 10 feed and return line. We have Bosch 210 pound injectors, and I think we're finally ready to start making passes and turn the car up. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, make sure to ask. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Thank you.